Yeah, I'm really doubting whether I can get through this competition. Yeah, I'd really like the opportunity to prove myself. Po, yes. second week in elimination. Mm -hmm. Any issues with the dish? Maybe it could have been a little bit higher. I probably should have just done at least one more layer. The salad, you happy with that? Too much on there. It's micro, so I should have used it a little bit more sparingly. It's precious stuff. At the end of the day, it comes down to the taste. Thanks, George. Thank you. I want to eat this. It's already it's standing out. The, the layers of smoked salmon with butter are, are beautiful. The salad is my only issue. There's just too much of it. But that terrine is just absolutely spanking. And can I also say, the bar marking yeah. on this toast, it sort of replicates the terrine in many ways. So you sort of, you, you, it flows. Get rid of that salad and just give me that. That is just absolutely spot on, beautiful. Balance of flavours, absolutely perfect. Anchovy butter's really nicely whipped. Hint of the anchovy, a little bit of lemon. It's really well layered. You can tell an artist has, has made this. Great balance of anchovy butter with smoked salmon, not over the top at all. Terrine is impeccable. The anchovy butter, which is not too acidic from lemon, it has a true flavour of the anchovies, which I'm not so sure the other, the other two had. Honestly, there's, a, there's qualified chefs that can't make terrines like this. So we, we, we've got to be very proud of the efforts. Well, we tasted the three dishes, so let's get them in. It must be the hardest moment since I've been in the competition. Andre, good effort. Remind us of that dream of yours if you win MasterChef Australia. What is it that you want to do? This was a refreshing moment for me because um, it was a time where I can communicate my, my cause to the, to the judges because they really don't know what I'm about. I came into this without being naive, you know. I didn't once say, I want to be a chef, because I don't know if my uh, domestic passion translates into the commercial world. So it was about me discovering um, the characteristics of my passion. And I discovered soon into the competition, you know, two, three weeks into it, that this is, this is going to be my vocation. I'm going to become a chef. It was like I was prepared, but I've been prepared from the very first day to speak like this. This is an easy question for me. This is probably the easiest thing that I've had to do in the competition, is justify why I'm here. Good. I could have gone on and on and on. Thanks, Andre. Jeannie, we're, I mean, we're sitting in an elimination, and so I there's a, a possibility you may be going home. I know. If that does happen... I don't stop. It'll take me longer. But um, it'll go on. I think although I cried, I'm quite proud. I mean, I become emotional, but that's how I am. That's Jenny. I forget how old I am. Because to me, it has no barrier. I think young. I behave young. And I feel this is now the last stop on my train. I mean, I've got a government job. But the last two years since I've been on my own, I've spent all my money, all my time off, and now I've taken all my long service to be here to travel and learn about food. And I honestly, I hang on to every word you three judges say. I don't think anyone in here has taken as many notes as I do when you people talk. When I heard Andre and Jenny's um, little speeches about why they were in the competition, I did feel quite intimidated because they've got um, a lot of depth to why they want to be here. Po. I don't think I ever want to be that intense with food. Where's the dream right now? 
Um, I've always maintained that the first goal that I have is to write this cookbook because it will consolidate what sort of restaurant I'd like to open, basically. And what is it? Um, at the moment, well, no, it will be um, a dumpling and noodle bar. I think because my speech was a little bit, I don't know, quite, not quite as intense as Jenny and Andre's that uh, they might question my art competing with my passion for food. You're not going to have like po pictures around the place with prices on the bottom, no? Um, no. I'm actually quite against mixing my two careers and I think like my skills as an artist will really come into hand in terms of how the place looks. I think I just got a little bit flustered and wasn't very articulate. So I might have come across as a bit ditzy or something today, I'm not sure. It's been a very difficult decision. The time has come to reveal who's going home. Home? I start to feel quite ill, because it followed straight after the questioning about my commitment with art and all that. So yeah, I started to think, oh crap, maybe it's me. You're still in the competition. Well done. <sighs> Thank you. Well done. That was an outstanding effort, that terrain. It was just beautifully done. When you apply yourself even more like you did today, you perfect things and you do things really well. Well done. Thanks, George. I uh, was really stressed at that moment. I was wringing my hands. And I could hear actually Andre's heartbeat. He's quite nervous. Andre, you're still in the competition. Jenny, I'm sorry to say you're out. attention was in on Jenny. Jenny, if there could be any better testament to the impact that you've had on the competition, it's look at these two, who look like they're both lost, something very special. I will miss these two a lot. She's a pretty special woman. I think Paul and I have been blown away with this woman, um, and she's an, she's an inspiration, definitely. I thought I was passionate about food, but just listening to her, yeah, just for your sense of humour, just amazing, yeah, warmth. You're definitely someone that I will catch up with yeah. in the oh, future definitely. and that I'll really miss. I'm going to miss talking 24-7 about food all the time without being told off and being with people that really love food and that's what you do, cook and talk about it all the time. Well, Jenny, it's time for you to leave the MasterChef kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Now I walk out of MasterChef Kitchen. I know this is the end, Jenny and MasterChef. But it's not the end of Jenny's passion for food. 